Hi, my name is Emma Brookso. I'm from Charleston, South Carolina, and I'm currently a junior civil engineering major here at the University of South Carolina. So we are currently in Square Engine Engineering Building, one of our many buildings on campus. This building houses mainly our computer degrees as well as the chemical and biomedical engineering groups as well. Hi everybody, my name is Anthony Brasco. I'm a senior chemical engineering major in, here in the College of Engineering and Computing. I'm coming from South Jersey, right outside of Philadelphia. All right, right here behind me is the Wired Cafe. It's in the lobby of the Swear Engine College of Engineering and Computing. Right here for our students to enjoy some breakfast or lunch. They serve coffee and it's a great way to meet up with your classmates and peers to do schoolwork and projects together. Hey, how are you guys? My name is Tom Crooks. I'm a computer science major here and I'm a senior uh, in the College of Engineering and Computing. So here we have one of our computer labs at the CUC. These labs are accessible 24-7 to students using a Carolina card, so even when the college closes, students can still get in here and work in the computer labs anytime. And all these computers come with any sort of software that you might need for your classes. For a lot of your computing classes, you will be using these computer labs. Um, you'll kind of break off into smaller groups of around 20 to 30 people to kind of work on those group projects. So most of your lab classes will be in here or your recitation periods where you can have a little more hands-on learning um, to go over the stuff that you went over in class. Right now we're in the Units and Operations Laboratory of the Swear Engine College of Engineering and Computing. This is a two-semester course designed for our chemical engineering students as they hit their junior and senior years. And what they do in here is shrink down chemical processes into smaller scale items that can be studied in a lab setting. The students study the data they get from it and present professional lab reports and presentations from it. So we are currently in the Structural Engineering Lab, one of the many civil engineering labs on campus at the University of South Carolina. Um, part of being a student at the University of South Carolina, specifically in the College of Engineering and Computing, is that you get to experience a lot of hands-on work in the labs. So as a part of the Structural Engineering Lab, you get to work on tensile strength testing, looking at the composition of different materials and how they perform um, and how durable they are under different conditions such as earthquakes or other severe storms. They also do material testing, looking at road improvement, um, helping to better the South Carolina Department of Transportation's ability um, to produce and improve our roads. Hi, my name is Liz and I'm a senior civil engineering student here at the College of Engineering and Computing. Right now we're in the hydraulics lab and I personally had a lab in here as a civil engineering student and it's just a great opportunity to put what you learn in the classroom into real life experiences. I know one of the research that they've done here is testing levees to see what went wrong during Hurricane Katrina in New Orleans. In this lab we worked with weir loading, with flow, with pipes, and pretty much any of the basics that we would need to know if we wanted to focus on hydraulics as a civil engineer. So we are currently in the aerospace engineering lab at the University of South Carolina. The University of South Carolina is the only university in the state of South Carolina to offer a bachelor's degree in aerospace engineering. This is a reflection of the university wanting to keep up with the industry um, and provide that option to students. So it is a really great program. You get a lot of hands-on experience. This lab is another example of that, getting to work with flight simulators um, and programs that will help your understanding and prepare you for industry after life in college. 